So if Mesut Ozil does something nice and he still gets criticised, some people are just never happy, are they? Hello, I'm Richard. Welcome back to my channel over and over and over again, which features everything to do with Arsenal. So in this video, I just want to look back at the news, obviously, that broke on social media yesterday um, regarding Meza Ozil paying, of course, the uh, the wages of um, Jerry Key, of course, who plays the Gunnosaurus mascot. Um, but just before I get into all that, I just want to make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. If you like what I'm doing, please click the subscribe button down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well, because that really does help it to grow. If you've got any comments about uh, this whole Meza Ozil situation or anything else to do with Arsenal, Please drop your comments in the box as well. Um, it's always nice to hear from you guys as well, so that would be great. So then, Mesut Ozil, you can't keep him out of the news, can we, really? Um, he might not be playing at the tour at the moment, not even in the squad, um, but he certainly knows how to get headlines, doesn't he? He certainly knows how to get noticed. Um, and of course, yesterday, um, he released on social media uh, to say that he was offering to pay the wages of Jerry Key, who, of course, um, plays the Gunnosaurus mascot, uh, has done for 27 years at Arsenal. Um, of course, that was on the back of, on Monday, of course, the club announcing that his role was going to be made redundant, of course, due to the fact that there's been no fans in the stadium since March. There's unlikely to be fans in the stadium probably until at least next March. Um, and of course, it means his job was no longer viable. But Meza Ozil stepped in and said, look, I'm going to pay his wages for as long as I'm still at the club. Um, to, to keep him his job. Now, of course, he's not really keeping him his job, is he? Because his job's no longer there. With no fans in the ground, there's nothing for a mascot to do, unfortunately. Um, but what it does mean is, basically, Mesut Ozil is uh, becoming a chancellor, isn't he? And, and paying uh, furlough to, to, to Jerry only at the full amount of his wage as opposed to just 80%. So um, we need to be clear about that. We're still not probably going to see Gunnar Soros walking around an empty stadium, are we? because there's no need for him to be doing that. So, um, but at least it means that he's still got his, uh, his income from the role until such a time as he can be back in, in, the, in the ground again, obviously working. So um, on the face of it, it seems like a very great gesture from Mesut Ozil, doesn't it? And not surprisingly from him, if you remember, of course, he has, um, he does a lot of great work for charity, doesn't he? He always has done, gives a lot of money away to great causes all over the world. Um, and, you know, this one's a little bit more closer to home, isn't it? You know, he's helping out somebody that he clearly knows um, and has worked with for quite a number of years. Um, but being Mesut Ozil, of course, he's going to come in for criticism. No matter what he does, um, there's going to be people out there that are just looking to, to find fault in, in everything, really. Um, on the, as I say, on the face of it, it looks like a great gesture, but people have been saying it's just a publicity stunt. Mesut Ozil's done it just to make the club look bad. Of course, he's come on the back as well of the messages of support that he gave to Matteo Guendouzi, of course, who left the club this week um, to, to Germany on loan. Um, to me, that was just him, him showing support for a friend. But again, you know, people read into all this that he's making digs at the club. Um, I'm not really sure about it, if I'm honest. I, I like to take things on face value. Um, and at this moment in time, it does appear that Mesut Ozil has just done a great thing. And he needs to be applauded for that, uh, not criticised. Now, has he got ulterior motives behind it all? We don't know, do we? It's possible he might have. Um, I can't see what benefit there would be. Um, he took a lot of stick over the fact that, you know, when lockdown was announced and, and the players were asked for a 12, to take a 12% pay cut to try and protect jobs, Mesut Ozil was, of course, one of the players who refused to do that. He did make a statement, didn't he, um, back at the start of the season about his reasons behind that. Um, I can accept his reasons, um, that's fine. Um, but of course now with this, it does make it seem a little bit strange, I suppose, where had he took a 12% pay cut, um, maybe some of these other redundancies would have happened. I doubt that would have been the case if we're totally honest, and that's why Mesut Ozil didn't do that. Um, what you've got to remember as well is this particular job of the mascot, it's not really just about money, is it? It's more about the fact that the job at this moment in time is just not available, is it? Um, it's just unfortunately one of those things due to the you know the, the restraints that there are with no fans in the stadium. So um, it's not like they've made somebody redundant whose job they just couldn't afford to pay. That's not what's really happened. Yes, the club have done it to save money, I suppose, but they're looking at a job that's, that's not viable. And, and you can understand why they've done that. Um, so Mesut Ozil has come in and, and, and filled that void, if you like, in, in financially, which is great. And I say personally, I think he should be applauded for it. I think he should be given a lot of credit for doing that because there's lots of other players on the clubs or at the club on big money, big contracts, 
Um, didn't think about doing it, Mesut Ozil has, so full credit to him for that. And I think he should be given the, the praise he deserves. If it comes out later on that maybe he had ulterior motives for doing it, um, then we can maybe look at it then. But even so, regardless of all that, he's helping out a fellow employee, paying paying his wages for him. And whatever his reasons are, you've got to look at the end result. And the end result is Jerry still keeps his money, even though he may not be able to work at this moment in that particular role. So um, let's give Urzel credit. You know, I know a lot of people want to want to jump on the bandwagon and want to criticise him, but let's wait until he's done something worthy of criticism before we do that. Um, there's maybe several things that he, previously that he has done that have been warranted for criticism, but on this particular occasion, I don't think it is warranted. And I think that we need to look at what he's done and just and just look at it in isolation and say, yeah, what a great thing. Now, in terms of Mesut Ozil himself, of course, he's still not featured in the squad as, at all this season, has he? Um, I'm finding it very difficult to believe it's for footballing reasons when you look at the gaps we've had in the squad in midfield and the creative side of things. You can't tell me that Mesut Ozil couldn't have come in even as a substitute and, and done a job for us in, in most of the games this season that we've played um, and made a difference possibly. Um, so I don't believe it is footballing reasons. I think it is maybe to do with the whole um, the 12% pay cut. Maybe it's to do with other things behind the scenes. I don't know. Um, but either way, um, the whole situation that needs to be resolved. He's staying at the club, but he didn't go in the transfer window unless we, we move him on to another club in the English league um, over the next week or so. He's going to be staying with us at least until January, possibly till the end of the season. And we need to utilise him. You know, the fact we didn't get Hassan Awar in, in the transfer window um, and the fact that we were looking at a player like that um, who probably plays a very similar role to, to Mesut Ozil, just a younger version of him possibly. Um, as we didn't get him over the line, clearly that's an area of the pitch that, um, that Mikel Arteta is, is looking at strengthening when we've got a player who can offer that creativity who's at the moment being completely frozen out. It could possibly be that Mesut Ozil done this gesture um, to try to get favour again, um, to try to look at a way if he can get back in, in the squad and back playing again. Um, you know, there are videos of him, he's training regularly, um, so he's doing all he can do, I guess, on that side of it. Um, he's just not, not being picked, is he? But it is an issue that really needs to be resolved. It's the one thing that's hanging over the club, I think, at the moment. Um, you know, we've got a player on big wages, the biggest earner at the club, and he's not even getting named on the bench um, when he's fit to play. Um, and it's, it, I say, you maybe would understand it if we had better players that are coming in and doing his job, but we clearly haven't had, have we? This season we haven't had. Um, we've now got Thomas Partey, of course, who's going to make a massive difference to the midfield, but he's not the same sort of player. He's not been brought in as a replacement for Mesut Ozil. I say um, Hassan Mouhoua would have been, um, but we didn't get him, did we? So, um, I don't know, I, I find it a bit of a strange situation, actually. Personally, for me, I would be putting Mesut Ozil at least on the bench um, and I certainly would have had him playing in some of these early games, you know, where we've maybe struggled for creativity, especially in the games at home. Um, I would certainly have felt he could have made a massive difference in both of those two home games. Although we had won them both in the end, um, you could see quite clearly the lack of creativity that we've had. So um, it is something that needs to be resolved, I think. I don't think we can have a player on £350,000 a week um, sitting at home on match day. I don't think we can do that not until the end of the season anyway. I do think he needs to change. I think he needs to be involved. He needs to be at least involved in the squad. If he's fit to play, he needs to be involved in the squad. You know, we've had several players on the bench this season that have not played, not even got on. Um, so I can't understand why he can't at least be on the bench. But anyway, you know, there's obviously reasons behind that. But in terms of all of this stuff here, let, let's give Ozil credit. I say he takes a lot of criticism um, he's, for everything he does. So let's give him credit for this. He's done a great job. He's, he's done a great thing here. I'm sure Jerry is, is really, really grateful to him. Um, and if it means that when we've got fans back in the stadium, hopefully um, sooner rather than later, then we will see again Gunnosaurus um, on the pitch, um, you know, chatting with the kids and everything like that, which has been great, hasn't it? Let's face it. We, we all love Gunnosaurus, don't we? Um, and we were all sad on Monday when we heard the news. But now we've got a reason to be to be cheerful again, haven't we? And hope that in the future we can see Gunnosaurus again um, back on the pitch and doing doing his stuff. So, um, and if we do, the, the big credit to that will need to go to Mesut Ozil. And if it so happens that he's done it for alternative reasons later on, we can maybe look at that then. But certainly let's not criticise him now. He's taken enough criticism for stuff that he doesn't deserve. Um, and he certainly doesn't deserve criticism for this at this moment in time, does he? So that's that to then. Let me know what you think about all that. 
please drop your comments in the box. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Um, I will be doing a uh, Positive Arsenal podcast um, tomorrow. Um, I've got a few good guests lined up as well to come on. We've got lots to talk about, obviously, with the transfer window, uh, with our start to the season, uh, with some strange results in the Premier League. Uh, and obviously looking ahead to um, the restart after the international break was a tough game for us away at Manchester City. So all this is still to come. Um, so stay tuned to the channel. Um, I say please subscribe. Please like this video as well. Give it a thumbs up if you do like it because that helps it to grow as well. Just thanks everyone for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching this video. I say please drop your comments in the box, uh, box below as well. Um, and look out for some more videos coming up over the next few days as well um, as we go in towards a... An international weekend uh, i think i might do a video about international breaks actually um, because they're quite annoying especially in a season that's been so congested but that's something we'll probably talk about on the podcast um, tomorrow so tune in for that be about eight o'clock tomorrow night that's going live i'll put out some stuff to uh, to promote that um throughout today so, so that's that for now then. thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel and in the meantime of course as always come on you gunners